sports broadcasting, when I developed that course, my dream was that every venue, whether it's a high school game, junior college, college, minor league, where there isn't a play-by-play, -play, that a person can take this course and learn how to get started starting their own play-by-play, -play, internet, radio, selling advertising, monetizing, keep your day job. Too often people want to get called by ESPN because they love, they want to be a, a, a broadcaster, sports announcer. And I say do the walk-on approach. Take the skills that you learn in this course, go to the web, we'll teach you how to start your own internet company, uh, whether it's your own talk radio or whether it's play-by-play. -play. I am so uh, excited about the potential. Every sports, every high school sport, there's parents that would pay sponsorship to have the opportunity to hear play-by-play -play of their son or daughter, whatever the sport. It doesn't have to be just football and basketball. The opportunity to start your own play-by-play -play company all over the world through the internet is so obvious. And that's what this course does, give you the confidence and give you the navigation tools and so you can start your own company. We're interested in you becoming an entrepreneur. You can't wait for ESPN to call. You've got to go out and demonstrate and start your own business. And that's what we do in the sports broadcasting course. From the start of the course, it's an eight week course. And we, we work the first week really just getting to know the students. The first week is kind of an introductory and getting them to know each other, background of where they come from, what they aspire to do, uh, what they've done up to this point in time, location in the country, so that everybody can become familiar with each other. And we, we promote that throughout the chat as continuing to network. Uh, we have two minute drills with the course where they have to basically take a test is what it is each week on the material that they've read. And this moves them through actually as far as the course material is concerned to the final in the last week, which is uh, comprehensive for the entire course. It is an open book test. As uh, long as you've read and you follow the material, you're going to be in pretty good hands when you get, get to the final. Along with the course, you're required to do a job shadow, which is really interesting from the standpoint that we promote networking and getting you out to do a job shadow. You're going to follow somebody that's already in the industry, in their job, what they're doing, whether it be a play-by-play -play individual, whether it be a sports talk individual, um, maybe even associated with TV, even though this is sports broadcasting, not necessarily uh, are we defined in radio or TV. Sports Management Worldwide gives you the ability to get in on the ground floor, to get to in with good organizations, with good people, and to, uh, and to be able to have the experience so that, again, these people want to know if they're thinking about hiring somebody, do they have a good background, are they being trained properly, and and, it, and often, in, in a lot of cases, it takes a lot of legwork for them out of the way because they know that they've already got people that are, are ready you know, to, to hit the ground running with whatever position. They don't have to worry about, you know, do I have to educate this person about the proper etiquette or protocol for doing this? Sports Manager Worldwide does that for them. So it's, uh, it's becoming a place where organizations and teams understand, hey, you know, these guys are going to take care of some of the initial work for us then we can get uh, folks when they're really ready to assume positions that we have available and we know that they're going to be able to handle those assignments and we don't have to worry about whether they've been trained properly. So I think organizations and teams are starting to find out Sports Manager Worldwide are good people to be partners with and uh, the people taking the courses then end up being the beneficiaries of those relationships. You know, sports broadcasting, whether it's the, the revenue side, the sponsorship, learning the business, how does sports talk radio, how does a radio station work, how does a play-by-play -play work. You'll get a chance to shadow some of the top people in the bit. You'll get to talk to top uh, elite play-by-play -play announcers, not only in the interview process, but the shadow process. And so whether it's play-by-play, -play, whether it's sports talk radio, uh, whether it's a coach's show, the industry, the, the, the sports broadcasting industry is so huge. And with internet, the expansion of opportunities and so many different shows out there. There's so many avenues. And when you demonstrate that you've learned something more than just your passion, it gives you credibility when you apply for the next job. And that's the whole point of the sports broadcasting course. Give you the credentials and the connectivity to allow you to, whether it's incremental, part-time, or full-time, to build uh, and monetize the passion you have for sports broadcasting. Everybody has a dream to get in that business, should take this course. 
it gives you an opportunity to get involved with sports, learn kind of from the ground floor up. You don't have to necessarily travel anywhere to get this information. By virtue of the internet, you can participate in these courses and take the full length of the course and actually start to network with people, whether it be the uh, instructors, whether it would be the students, to learn a little bit more about the industry, to learn a little bit more about yourself too. Sports Management Worldwide has a great success ratio in terms of being able to take people from the start of a course, learning about it, and then showing them the next step, which is the all important step of how do they get the job in the career that they want. And so, um, you know, a lot of people can read books on what to do and uh, maybe talk to some people and hear what to do, but once they get to that point and they say, all right, I know what I want, I, I've discovered uh, that this is what I really want to want to pursue, and I've got all the great advice, you know, now how do I do it? I think that's probably, you know, the kicker at the end, that's the, the great uh, climax to the whole experience that Sports Management Worldwide can say, hey, look at the people we put in great positions, uh, you know, in sports, and, and we can do that for you too. So, and I think that's because of the reputation they have, I think teams and organizations and franchises throughout sports have come to recognize that, hey, you know, we can trust the people that Sports Management Worldwide recommends to us because we know that they're going to take the time to give them the background they need, the education they need, and they can hit the ground running with our organization when they join us, and ultimately it's a win-win for everybody.